Morning YouTubers. I'm over here at the Inganish Landing doing a little bit of volunteer work. Today we're hooking up some light posts. I have one completed down the end there already. Did that one the other day. So I figured I'd show you how I do it. So these lights came from the Sign Bracket store in California. I'm up here in Inganish, northern Cape Breton on, uh, in Nova Scotia. So to get started, this is the gooseneck that goes on the top. This little label here says to put uh, thread sealant on it to keep water out of the light fixture. So we'll, uh, we'll start with that. We're just on the brink of getting a snowstorm today. We're supposed to get 30 to 40 centimeters, so I'm trying to get these all finished up before we get too much of it. I'm gonna tape these up because you gotta push these through the gooseneck, so I figure have it ready so when I put the thread sealant on, it will be all ready to, to mount these. Okay, thread sealant I'm using, just pipe joint compound, good for water, steam, anything. It says to knead the package a little bit first before you put it on. I find this stuff can be a little bit messy, so I try not to use too much of it. Feed the wires up through. Be careful, there's no little grommet in here, so be careful when you're pulling the, it through quicker that it uh, doesn't skin the wires. Wipe the excess off there. Do the other side. This one actually has a grommet. I guess some of them might have fallen out or in shipping or something. I don't know. They, they weren't in the box anyways. All right, step one. I like mounting, putting the bulbs right in and everything, getting it all done with. 
I'm putting complex fluorescence in here temporarily, but we're just kind of at a tight deadline to get these turned on for a funding program that we are el eligible for. So I'm, I have LED lights on order. So uh, that's what we'll be putting in them. Um, compact fluorescents say you shouldn't put them in completely enclosed containers. So, I just need to be able to turn them on just to show that they're hooked up, take a picture, and then I'll be changing the bulbs out when they come. There's a little Allen key here, a little set screw. There we go. And that's this is for uh, the cage housing that goes around it. There's two little ears here. Those ears just go there and then it locks into place with these set screws. Next step, I'm going to take my strippers, I'm just going to cut all these to the same length. Strip the ends back. I have a piece of cab tar here, I already have stripped. This is a uh, cold rated, so I'm just going to use, not, I'm not going to use the red. Cut that right out. Whatever wire you use should be rated for the cold because in the wind and stuff these poles are going to move a little and the wires will bang around inside the poles and eventually they'll get brittle. Okay. We're right together our grounds. I'm using Ideal Moretz, just my preference.
Trim up the ends. Now this will actually be inside the pole. I like to tape tape these up, just then you don't have to worry about it. They will be accessible. You just have to unscrew the set screws and take the gooseneck off. Holds, holds everything nice and tight together there. Next step we're going to take off, there's an access port down here, right here. One nice thing that I did find on the other one is a lot of poles I see this access port is above this trim. When this trim cover comes down, it covers everything so you can't even see the access port. I, I really like that, I thought it made it look nice and clean. Made it a little trickier when you're wiring it. You had to prop something up there to uh, hold that up, but that's pretty minor, I felt. You're gonna fish that wire down the pole. Just slide it down. It's Look at that, right out through the port. One thing I didn't like, you'll see inside here, they have a ground strip, but they don't give you a ground screw, so you have to try to find a screw that will match up to it and stuff. It's not a big deal, but for what I paid for these lights, I felt like it should have had a ground screw. So now what I did the first time is I just put a couple, there's six set screws that go in here. Here they are here. Get the right Allen key for them. So I just get them all started. Try to line this up as best as I can, but I only, I only snug up two of them. And what I found that did is it let me uh, put it up the, stand it up and see how it lines up because I want to run so it looks like it's running straight down the wharf. So if I only do two, I can take them out and. Uh, readjust the light fixture. I just do snug up two of them so they so it doesn't come off when I stand it up. But I start all of them because you know if I try to start them when I'm up there you know they're gonna fall in the water and the water's probably negative one by now or they're about maybe zero and I don't really want to have to put my wetsuit on and go diving for 
set screws that I'll never find on a muddy bottom. Trim this up. 